Okay, the show's canceled. I give up. Tubers, I have woke up this morning and have been blessed with the plague for the third time this year. But anyways, I got crap in my chest and my throat, <clears throat> and I feel wonderful as always. So I plan to do <clears throat> the mini body work today, but I have since decided that <clears throat> I need to do something that is not as strenuous. So. We're gonna put it up on the lift. We're gonna change the oil. Um, I got the air filter for the Scion. <clears throat> Man. <clears throat> and I got the new tires for the back. I'm not gonna put the tires on right now. I'm not feeling up to the task. So we're gonna start off with the first part for the Scion being a performance perk. Boom! Putting a Spectre filter in it. <clears throat> These are cheaper than k and and almost identical. Um, they are very comparable to a k and It's really no difference. So, I'll show it to you. All right, so as you can see, these are washable and um, <clears throat> you can spray uh, air filter oil. It's pre-oiled, so it's good to go. And you can see a little bit of light coming through it, but these are very good filters. And the filter that is on these Zions from the factory is a very thick, like, foam paper filter. I mean, it's thick. So, I'll show that one to you. Also, here are my new used tires. Very good shape. Um, what are they? They are Kelly Edge tires. Um, 225-45-18s. They are going to go great on this. Also priced everything. I'm gonna get the whole core support, the the whole thing. Whether you know that's that's straight over there, but we're gonna replace everything. So the whole core support, um, bumper, hood, and we're not getting the painted bumper. I'm getting a bare bumper, a bare hood, the plugs, the hatch struts. Um, I ordered the headlight for this side, <clears throat> and can't remember what else but the whole total for all of those parts is 622 dollars and then you gotta add we're gonna have to paint those so <clears throat> i'm gonna figure 800 900 dollars in repairing this plus the tires so that's pretty much a thousand that's what i was figuring it was gonna take about a thousand dollars to fix this so <clears throat> let me get this filter up. so here's the stock filter it's dirty on both sides look at this it, it's just filthy. So that's why I was like, you know what? I'm just going to throw a filter in it. Boom. Boom. Done. Also, I'm pretty sure this thing's taking a charge, so we might not have to put a battery in it. So that's just a, like a, a charger. That's not, a, doesn't help it jumpstart it. In fact, here, I'll, in fact, I'll just unplug it. So we are unplugged. Let's see if it'll start up. <clears throat> It's got power. Yes! Yes! Awesome. Also wanted to show you um, a good way to know if there's aftermarket parts on it or not. These, these Scions, every part has a, the VIN number on it. So this is an original fender on this side. The passenger side is not. It's an aftermarket. So it had damage over here before that was repaired. Um, yeah, this is, this is aftermarket. In fact, it says Tong Yang on it right here. <clears throat> so the paint job looks pretty good on it for being aftermarket. I can't tell. I really can't tell a difference. Maybe on camera, but like in person, it looks, it looks pretty dang good. So the front bumper 
and that and I don't know if it, the hood is original or not either I uh, can't honestly tell but I can't find a VIN number plate on it either okay the show's canceled I give up <laughs> I've gotten sicker as the day went on and I haven't done anything so we're gonna we're gonna pick up one another day this week is not looking very good I start my weekend sick go figure let's do <clears throat> So, let's talk about some things. It's been a week since I last videoed because I was sicker than a doll or a cat in this household, whatever. I got some things done yesterday. Um, I went back to work today, just got back from work. Um, everybody at my work is sick, the same stuff. Anyways, my new tires are already on the car. New keys are already programmed and cut and they work um new headlight came um and uh, let me let me turn some lights on here kind of just kind of ooh, just fell apart um i polished the other headlight so it matches Whoa. um so what you're looking at here I'll show you the main damage. Um, I do not believe we're going to have to do any welding. Um, I may. I don't know yet. Um, the main damage. Okay, here. so here's your core support. When you get, when you order a core support, it comes with um, this piece, uh, this whole piece here, the top support, and these. These are spot welded in on both sides. That one's not bent. This one is back to shape. I bent it back, got the prop rod uh, hole and everything straightened back out, um, waiting for a bushing to put the prop rod back in. I think I'm going to leave those where they're at. The more stuff you can leave on the car that is spot welded in, the more chance you're going to have of everything fitting back up perfect. Um, the... Brackets here, I, I did straighten this one back out, but I may, um, I might take that one off and spot weld the new one on there. This one was not damaged, so I didn't leave it on, or I didn't take it off. And whenever I unbolted this section, nothing sprung, like nothing like shot in a different direction because there was pressure on it. So that tells me I had everything pretty close back to place where it was supposed to be. And that nothing is tweaked. Uh, I have new hood hinges coming. I didn't order every like I didn't order the core support yet. I didn't order the hood yet. I still have a, a, a bunch of stuff that I need to order. But uh, the front bumper is is straight. Um, the the radiator and condenser are undamaged. And I mean, besides that little bit of a dent right there, and that's no big deal. Also, I did put this new coolant tube on, as you can see here, um, and I have cycled the engine, heat cycled it several times. There are no coolant leaks, and the thing runs perfect. So, I, I did all that yesterday. Um, near the end of the day, I was like, I, I can't, I've been sitting in my house for days on end. I just couldn't sit there another day. I was like, I, I need to do something. So, I came out and started tinkering, and this happened off camera, so... Don't know what to tell you. Here's the old tires. I'm going to try to sell them. They're actually really good tread, but they're just the wrong size tire. They're too low profile. Um, what we're going to do tomorrow is I'm going to get this thing up on the lift. We're going to look underneath it. We're going to fix the coolant leak, and I'm going to fix this damage on the hood. The main damage out of all of this is right here. As you can see, this crinkle on this upright right here. It pushed everything back in right there, and that's almost impossible to get that back to the way it was supposed to be. It mangled this bracket over here, and in the top support, it had pretty mangled. So, I think once I get the new one, if it bolts right in, I'm not going to worry about this bracket right here. Seeing as how, I, like I said, I straightened it back out. It doesn't look perfect, but as you can see, this is going to go back in whenever uh, you bolt that piece of one so i think everything's gonna go good and everything will be uh pretty kosher like i said this was just tweaked in 
I tweaked it back and straightened everything out. It looks it looks good. It looks factory anyways. It was hard for me to believe that the airbags didn't blow because here's the, the airbag sensor right here. And it bolts right here. And the hit was right here. So it's, it's kind of surprising that it didn't trigger the airbag or at least an airbag fault or something because of that. But I didn't unplug these sensors. I left them plugged in. And I did have the battery disconnected. I just wanted to show you guys that the... The keys are uh, programmed. And if actually one of my um, uh, Patreon members got me two more keys. He had extras and he sent, sent them to me. So I do have one more to get cut. So I had two uh, key fob keys. But loving the interior. I think I'm going to do, definitely probably going to do an aftermarket stereo on this. We'll have to wait for that. I do not know what this devil's sickness is going around, but it's got me. <coughs> my lungs don't like it. Anyways, um, I already started on the Mini. I had it, the oil drain, and it's been up for a good while now. Kind of cleaned up the garage some, you know. Um, so, yeah, I drained the oil out. I'm going to go ahead and do some service items and stuff. Um, I have, like I said, there was a power steering leak, and... Right here, it's run down that line, but that bottom right there on the end of this plastic piece here, that line right there, I could move that line. So I tightened that clamp up, and then the ones on the bottom of the power steering reservoir, those are the ones I, I need to tighten up. Besides that, the underside of this thing is not bad at all. Um... The exhaust looks good. Only part that's like really rusty underneath is the heat shield on the muffler. That's the worst part of the underside. Besides that, everything is, uh, I mean, there's a little bit of rust, but it's not bad at all. I'm going to put the drain plug back in it. Put a new filter in, and uh, we are also going to fix that coolant leak while we're at it. And then we'll start on the body work on this. And then at some point today... Um, I'm going to run and get an oil tank. I was going to take... I have a spare one in my basement. It would be a pain to get out. They're not that bad price when you look online. So I'm getting an oil tank. I'm going to set it out here in the driveway. And we're going to run oil lines in. I'm going to get my heat hooked up here soon. Because uh, working in the cold is not very good for my sickness. Have you ever done an oil change on a Mini? They put this uh, oil filter in a very convenient location. Boom. You see that big... Uh, plug right there that's where the oil filter is down underneath the exhaust on the back side of the motor convenient and that's going to drip oil everywhere and that's probably why there's remnants of oil down there because when you do an oil change it's just going to happen it's inevitable so i'm going to go ahead and change that out put my new uh pure later filter in and uh drop some oil down in this all right, so here's an important note on these. If you do do one, um, they are just a cartridge-style filter, but they have a rubber seal on one end and the other end they don't. The rubber seal end, one, you want it to go in first so it seals against uh, the surface. You see, these are two different style filters, but they both have a rubber gasket on one end and the other end they don't. So make sure that the rubber ends up. We're gonna lose some coolant now because I'm gonna take that piece out that's busted. Okay, so first off, you're gonna need a little extra room to get down in this tight crevice. First thing I did was unbolt the coolant tank and unbolt the uh, power steering reservoir. And the coolant tank, you can route the hose around the power steering pump. You just set it up front. It's got a long hose on it. And that actually brings that hose out of the way then. Then disconnect the coil pack and that'll give you enough room to shift the power steering bottle over. And as you can see, no, maybe you can't. As you can see, it gives us a lot more room then to get down in there. And those compression clamps are 
hard to get to if, if you don't move all that stuff out of the way so and also you can see how oily the bottom of the powers it this is going to give me better access to get my clamps on there that i want to get on there as you can see it looks like they already replaced one and just slid one clamp down that hose yeah we're going to put a couple compression clamps on these ones these are a little bit bigger on the bottom of the power steering reservoir i'll do that after i get to this but as you can see they already that heat shield looks like it was already bent out of the way um so that kind of helped me out some <laughs> but yeah that, this is what we're going to do i'm going to get that out and get this aluminum one in and uh we'll go from there All right, I'm gonna let this thing run in heat cycle now. If you uh, didn't notice, the the pipe itself busted while I was trying to take it out. I imagine it was cracked somewhere, and uh, I just finished it off. Cause that, that's kind of like where the, the leak was on it, was in between the pipes. But anyways, we got that taken care of. It's a pain in the butt. I'm not gonna lie to you, that wasn't fun working down in that little hole but as you can see everything's in there tightened up i put new clamps on the power steering reservoir where it looked like we had leaks um and i don't see anything dripping or leaking off right now so that's a good sign i didn't really spray anything off but you know we'll just we'll just see um i did leak a, a lot of antifreeze and stuff down through there so it's gonna burn off while it's running We'll just see how things go. We'll monitor it and uh, make sure it heat cycles and everything. And then after that, then we'll take care of this body work. We ran her for a while. We let her heat soak. We revved her. Got her up to temperature several times. And I cannot find a single leak. So that's taken care of, thank God. Um, once this thing cools down, we'll see how much uh, coolant sucks back into the tank. Uh, from the expansion tank here and we'll see if i have to add some fluid to that but we need to get on to this damage i'm going to get my stud welder out we're going to weld a couple studs on here we're going to do the little pulling popping dents out and stuff it's going to be fun it's going to be a fun time so i got this thing up at eye level uh what i need to do is you need to grind this down to bare metal so inside of this dip here inside of here inside of here and uh there's some small ones right there maybe right here and right here we're going to grind all those areas down to bare metal we're going to get our stud welder out we're going to pop those suckers out so we don't have to use near as much putty hopefully we get it close to near shape and there's not a lot of body work it needs to be done but um i can already see that this whole section right here looks like it was hammered in trying to trying to make out where this all is supposed to go uh it, it's hard to eyeball but we'll you know get it to a, a nice shape uh this is gonna have to go in just a tad right here but we'll get all of this uh once i get this all ground out
yes there's a couple holes now but we are left with a lot more level playing field the areas that have the holes uh we're gonna fill those in with filler with uh with uh body filler because uh it'll give it something good to grip to um you might have to tap those areas down just a tad but it'll be all right i'm going to get a body hammer out and i'm going to tap some of these back down but we have a lot more level playing field now and it's not we're not going to fill this in with inches of putty now it's going to be you know more suitable to do body work on so i need to sand this whole area up and get it prepped and ready for putty and uh then we'll uh get to it well i'd love to continue this mess but uh i have other things i gotta do right now so i'm gonna have to put this on hold and i'm gonna have to <laughs> i gotta move some cars in here we have a storm coming a winter storm and i'm gonna try to see if i can fit two cars in here i don't think it's gonna happen i'm gonna try to get two in here i can at least get my camaro in underneath the mini and then I'm going to see if I can squeeze the infinity in here. That way it'll free up my driveway so when the snow comes it'll be easier to clean my driveway. And I also need room to put the oil tank in the driveway that I need to go get like right now. So I'll continue on this tomorrow sometime. Uh, and then we'll, uh, yeah, we'll take it from there. I get that car dolly out of here and this is a no issue, but we did fit... four cars in the garage so it frees up a good bit of space outside for the snow and for snow removal so that's awesome It's been a couple days. Did a lot of snow cleaning. Got the garage cleaned out and got all the vehicles back out again. And I went ahead, went ahead and I stripped the hood. Um, now the hood is ready for paint. Uh, well, it's not ready for paint. It's ready to be um, worked so then I can get it ready for paint. And then, uh, well, we're going to do the putty work right now and hopefully have this thing ready and we can take this out to Jerry's today. So I finally got this a really nice shape. It's got a nice curve to it. <clears throat> I can't feel any transition, so we're doing really good there in that department. Um, I'm gonna go over this with glazing putty. There's still some, you know, small, little itty bitty imperfections. Uh, so we're gonna go over this whole thing with glazing putty. We're gonna sand it smooth, and then uh, we're gonna continue on sanding the whole hood. what you're seeing the, the spottiness on there that's self-etching primer every place there was bare metal sticking out whenever it was self-etching primer so after this dries then I'm gonna go over it with my Transtar primer and uh, coat this whole section and then we can sand it and uh, we can see how smooth it is and I mean once I get the Transtar on there you should be able to see if there's any bumps or anything on here that I should have sanded better 
or whatever. Right here, there's a little section that's kind of iffy, but this is where the fender flare also covers. So I don't think you're gonna see this that much, but it's gonna look it's gonna look fairly decent. Every time I do body work, I hate it, but I amaze myself in the end. If you take your time and you you put the work in, it will turn out really good. And I think it turned out really, really good. I mean, there is, it is as smooth as can be. There is no transitions that you can feel. It is, it's great. This is, this is ready for paint. Um, after, uh, it needs to dry just a little bit more. I can I can tell it's a little bit tacky, but the whole hood needs to be sanded yet. And I'm just not going to do that on this episode. Another thing I did off camera when after I stripped the hood and stuff. Here is the scoop um, bolts up in the hood. I took a piece of the trash Scion bumper and uh, blocked that off. As you can see, I just used some zip ties and uh, put it in there. It's not coming out, so that way. You know, water's not going in on my coils. I don't think that's a good thing to have water on your coils. So that that's done and never was. So in the next episode, I'll be finishing this hood up. We'll be taking this out to Jerry's. Um, there is a lot of paint correction that I need to do. Somebody sprayed this whole side. This like the paint over here is all rough, and on the door there's a couple spots, and I don't know what they were doing. Touch up. It looks horrible, so I'm going to have to wet sand and buff and do some paint correction on this side to make it look a little bit better. Hopefully, we'll get that a little bit more presentable, but I'm not having Jerry touch any of that. We're just painting the hood. That's it. So, on the next episode, we'll finish this off. Um, I'd like to I'd like to start on that. We'll do a couple little things, too. I'm painting the, the scoop myself, and we're just doing a couple little things that... Uh, to get this thing ready so when I get it back it's pretty much done um, I haven't sold anything yet so I haven't ordered the parts for this because they're expensive so I'm waiting I, my Camaro is still up for sale the Infinity is still up for sale um, you know I, I used the, the, the white Scion money to buy this Scion so that's what we're waiting on right now so guys if you haven't yet consider subscribing hit that like button leave me a comment let me know if you like my builds. What you want to see in the future. If you're excited for the Zion. Zion! And I'm going to go in because I'm still sick. So I need to get over this. So, just like in all the other episodes. We'll see you on another episode of Unwrapped.